can keep this channel going. I'm bitter, depressed, pissed. Basically lied to me. You know, the women in the family could have most definitely put me up on game about women, you know, so I wouldn't be looking like Boo Boo the Fool out there, you know. But uh, that didn't happen. I don't know why I'm doing this cast tonight. I don't know why I'm doing this tonight. It just feels like a weird night. I don't usually do that many. I do one tonight. I was playing The Last of Us. About to switch over to God of War. I'm tired of playing all these damn games where the father, you know, teaching the daughter instead of the father teaching the son how to grow up. So that's why I'm going to switch over to God of War. I mean, both games are nice. But I heard the philosophy the other day and I, I liked it. Let's do say it's like, don't do, betray the next man just because his woman wants to get with you. I'll say that again. Don't betray the next man, whether you know him or not, just because this woman wants to get with you. You know what? I like that. Uh, I like that outlook. Forgot who said that. It's this one dude that does a, a lot of anime pictures. Hiori something. Uh, I'll say his name in another podcast. But yeah, he was talking about how, you know, these women really aren't the problem. It's the elite few males that are running shit. They're the problem. And I agree. It's not the women. The women are just doing what they're you know, being uh, allowed to do. still sucks, you know, when you're trying to get close to somebody, you have to deal with all this rigmarole, shenanigans and shit, you know, I'll say this much, my dad was right, when he broke up with my mom and divorced her, he should have fucked all her friends. I, I used to be horrified when he told me that when I was younger and when I was 10. But you know what? The older that I've gotten, the more sense it's made. You know, they really do think they're supposed to run shit. And any, you know, sign of masculinity you show, they want to beat it down and smother it. Like you don't have a right to be what you are. You know, me, I just say fuck that. I'm, I'm an old fashioned man. I believe in, you know, being able to express myself fully within reason. I'd be a tyrant. I believe in uh, not having to go back and forth in an argument with a woman. That I'd make my point, listen, and let her make her point. You know, until we come to some kind of agreement through that. But I, get the, but I get the final say. I'm going to be real with you guys. I don't know you. It's personal. I've been with this chick for about 10 years right now. I really don't want to mention this because it's embarrassing as hell. But like, there's no, there's no affection. There's no hugging, there's no kissing, there's no sex, you know. And, you know, my heart is still with her, but 
makes me feel like shit, you know? And I haven't had anybody else, like, step up to the plate, so... In some ways, I guess, that, to be honest, I don't know what the hell to do. You know, I'll go stoner, ignore sometimes. I don't know, it's... Too much missing time with her. That's what bugs me. A lot of missing time. You know, like, oh, I gotta go do this, or, oh, I start doing this today, and my job, and... <laughs> it's just like, you know, man, I deserve better than that shit. So I play along a little bit, because uh, I'm like, all right, mm -hmm. I'm at a bit of a disadvantage in, in a lifestyle right now. Not living with her or nothing, but I still got some disadvantages that, you know, she can capitalize off of. And I've been noticing that she's capitalizing off my disadvantages. You know, she can go and do this, that, and the other. I can't really do it the same way. I don't know, I just get these feelings, you know. There'll be times I'm sitting alone and she'll run through my mind. And I'll just start having thoughts. And you know, in the past, I'd be like, oh man, stop thinking. You know, what's wrong with you? But you know, recently I've been just thinking if something comes into my brain, entertain it a little bit. Because it's a quite good possibility that it's my spirit talking to me, saying, hey man, I'm looking out for you. You know, I love you. I'm not gonna mislead you. If something don't feel right, I'm I'm letting you know it don't feel right. It's not making you feel right. I want you to take heed to it. And I honestly think that's what's going on. It's it's not um something like I oh, fuck that bitch, dirty ass bitch. You know, though sometimes it'll go there a little, but for the most part, it'll be very just kick back like, hey man, you know, laddie boy, you my you my you my boy. I don't want to see you hurt. I don't want to see you struggling like this. You know? Where was she at? Where, where, where are these people at? Where where folks at? Ain't nobody like down? I'm, I'll be sitting there like, I don't know. I, I guess not. And it's just like, well, hey. <laughs> Why not? You down. You down as hell with other people. How come you, they don't give you the same respect? I'm like, I don't know, man. It's weird. It's like maybe I'm, I'm just really hanging out with the wrong, wrong people. It's like, maybe, man. It's like, it's hard as hell to meet any new people anyway, but, you know, you, you figure you're being decent with people that they're going to be decent back. Nah. It's cutthroat island. You know, some of the best times I've had over the last couple of years is when I'm alone. Me and the Most High. It just trips me out. All the music that I've listened to and love. I found out it's all a lie. It's all satanic, demonic. Almost everything I like is demonic and satanic. Christianity. <laughs> it, it's it's built to you know put Jesus on a pedestal. It's just like there's there's no equal to the Most High. He has no peer. wonder sometimes I guess that's why I made this video but I wonder I like to say the black ram I've enjoyed listening to him I've enjoyed listening to element I've enjoyed listening to uh, oh man I can't remember the dude's name there's a lot of pedophile work it's very insightful and it's very just it's disturbing the way these people how they do their thing is deluxe something like that wears glasses um what else do I have I enjoy listening to uh call for an uprising rap the news 
Mag Bitter Truth. Mag Bitter Truth. That's my boy. Um, it's too bad more more of us didn't have a brother like him coming up in like a Chronicles of Judah. Because these these dudes have their head on straight. And it's nice to uh, it's nice to be talked to by your own kind. It really is. Because these uh I've noticed that these other mixtures out here they don't care they always got some excuse of why a b and c isn't the way it is and oh, it's like that for me too and i've been around the same thing and i can relate you can't relate to nothing you know you, you have no uh skills to relate there's a few i've, I've met in my lifetime that had skills to relate far and in between but yeah definitely mag bit of truth what you think, huh? You think you think that's that's real? You think it's real? Get the fuck out of here! Get off my channel! You think that's real, huh? You in a world of hurt? You think that's real? Look, they never miss. They never miss every time. They never miss. I love that shit. <laughs> he's very funny and he's very insightful. I like replicant fish. Um, the world is yours. Ding. Um, there's so many, you know. I like the call for uprising, dude. He's like, this. so we're just supposed to sit back, take this lion down? I ain't taking this lion down. I see this on the street. I'm throwing a flamethrower on this shit because this is not going to go down. I'm like, that's right. You know? He's telling the truth. Because things are getting out of hand. They've been getting out of hand. And they want us to accept it and lick it up and, you know, ask for more. And we're not going to do that. Black Ram did the best podcast ever. When he talked directly to the Negro male about how we are surrounded by enemies. It's so true. It's so very true. Rap the news. Um, I admire him in many ways. I would say, when all this hits, get out of the city. Get your ass out of the city. Because the city's the grid. You don't want to be in the city. Um, I forgot that one dude that's... Uh, blowing whistles, so to speak, or whatever on all those clone labs. That's pretty freaky, freaky stuff to hear. Um, I have my own personal thoughts about that, but I'm not going to divulge. I'll just say that uh, nothing gets out that they don't want out. When I look up in the daytime and I know for a fact there's a firmament up there and that's water and that's why the sky is blue because it's blue water I don't care what nobody say I know what I see you know the most high is amazing wonderful marvelous and um I've only scratched the surface of knowing who he is and his secrets. And I'm sure I'm, I've got a long way to go to start learning any of his secrets, but um, I've, I'm humbled and I appreciate the opportunity to be able to try. He keeps his secrets, I know that. He keeps his promises. That's what I meant, not he keeps his secrets. I meant to say he keeps his promises. And he's always watching. And ain't nobody getting away with anything. Not me, not anybody else. Um, thank you very much, Chronicles of Judah. We needed something geared straight directly towards the Negro male. We need that. We need that bad. And I appreciate you being the one to do that. Um, 
You know, there's other people out there doing stuff. I know that O'Shea, Kadash, and on some level, Sotomayor, I know. But these are the people that stick out to me. And nothing breaks your heart as much when you find out that every celebrity or actor or entertainer you really liked back in the day was nothing but a flaming faggot. Doing rituals. But there's no one to look up to in the sense of, you know, yeah, these are decent people. Because they're not. about homegirl. Um, I figure I'd just let it ride and hope for my father to send me someone new. Let it ride. Because the truth will come out. You know, all the snippiness and indecisiveness and aloofness. It's like that song on uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. It's like you'll find other kind that have been in search of you. That's what I hope for. To go somewhere where I, I fit. Being a male, being a, a Negro, it's a, it's very different. And you, you really don't get to even explore yourself right because you're not, you're not able to be around your own thanks to Michael King's and Sharpton's and Cosby's and Harpo's and all the other, you know, who lay lovers. But that's all right. These things must be this way for now. But oh, there will be a time when things change up. Till then, till I put another video out, till I want to ramble again, so I want to talk to y'all and tell y'all what's on my head, you know. Like my uncle used to always say, all right, laddie boy, you come from around looking at the couch now, thriller's over. You gotta be such a little punk. It's not that scary. To this day, that damn video scares me. But I'd be loving watching it. Oh yeah, by the way, for some reason, I like this uh, Michael Traps Trapson website, I, just for you laughs. I think it's funny, so there you have it. Laddie Boy is uh, gonna go back to playing some video games. Feel free to comment or tell me I suck. Tell me I don't suck. Bye.